Installing a switch is easy. All you need is a regular switch, an electrical box, and a faceplate. Uh, Mike? Yeah? Wrong kind of switch. Oops. When we talk about these little boxes that act as the centerpiece for our networks, we really don't use the word hubs anymore. The reason is, is that hubs and switches are actually very different things. Now if you look down here, at the top I have a hub and at the bottom I have a switch. Now even though ostensibly they look pretty much the same, they're actually quite, quite different. So to appreciate the difference, I've got a video I did a couple of months ago that describes the difference between hubs and switches beautifully. Let's watch. The important thing to remember about a hub is that it's a repeater. A computer sends a frame into the hub, it reads that frame, and then it makes multiple copies of that frame for every other connected port. So in this case I've got three connections, so it makes three perfect copies of the frame that just went in, and it sends those copies down the wires to every other computer on the network. A switch is very different from a hub because it's smart. It actually keeps track of the MAC addresses of the computers that are hooked to it based on ports. So in essence it keeps a little sheet of paper that stores the port number and the associated MAC. So in this case what I want to do is I want to have the computer on the gray cable talking to the computer on the red cable. So if we take a look at the MAC addresses, just looking at the last digits, we see that 66 wants to talk to 8F. So as he begins to send the frame down to the switch, we'll see that the moment it gets to the switch, the switch is going to take a look and compare the destination MAC address, where it's going to, to determine which port to send it back out on. And it sees, ah, there's a perfect match, and that's port number 8. So it sends it out onto the red port and it goes only to that computer. The other two computers on the network, on the blue and the yellow cables, they don't even see this frame at any time at all. The cool part is, is that if the two in the middle were talking, they would be able to work at the full bandwidth of the switch as opposed to cutting it in half as we'd see with the hub. I love that demonstration of hubs versus switches, and I want you to make sure you understand the differences. You're going to see that on the Network Plus.